There are four principles for a leader's conduct in battle. The first is three strikes and you're not out. There are two things a leader can do. Either contaminate his environment and the unit with his attitude and actions, or he can inspire confidence. He must be visible on the battlefield. He must be in the battle. Battalion commander on down. Brigade and division commander on occasion. Self-confident, positive attitude. He must exhibit his determination to prevail no matter what the odds or how desperate the situation must have and display the will to win by his actions, his words, the tone of his voice on the radio and face to face, his appearance, his demeanor, his countenance, the look in his eyes. He must remain calm and cool. No fear. He must ignore the noise, the dust, smoke, explosions, the screams of the wounded, the yells, the dead lying around him. That is all normal must never give off any hint or evidence that he's uncertain about a positive outcome, even in the most desperate situations. Again, the principle which must be driven into your head and the heads of your men is three strikes and you're not out. And the corollary principle, which is interactive with the one, is there's always one more thing you can do to influence any situation in your favor. And after that, one more thing, and after that, one more thing, etc., etc. In battle, I periodically detached myself mentally for a few seconds from the noise, the screams of the wounded, the explosions, the yelling, the smoke and the dust, and the intensity of it all, and asked myself, what am I doing that I should not be doing? And what am I not doing that I should be doing to influence the situation in my favor? The third principle is, when there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong except there's nothing wrong. That's exactly when a leader must be most alert. And finally, number four, trust your instincts. In critical, fast-moving battlefield situations, instinct and intuition amount to an instant estimate of the situation. Your instincts are the product of your education, your reading, personality and your experience. Trust your instincts. When seconds count, instincts and decisiveness come into play. In quick developing situations, the leader must act fast, impart confidence to all around him, must not second guess the decision, make it happen. In the process, he cannot stand around slack-jawed when he's hit with the unexpected. He must face up to the facts, deal with them, and move on.